The knee brace that we're gonna talk about today is the Liat X-Frame Hybrid Knee Brace. And you might be here today because you're looking at switching to a new knee brace, or maybe you've never worn knee braces before and you're looking at buying your first pair. So my goal here, I'm Woody, this is seat time, is to help you figure out if this is gonna be the right knee brace for you. If you're still wearing these, these are not knee braces. These are lovingly referred to as knee cups. Why? Because they protect your knee and it's really just a plastic cup. So there's a little bit of impact protection, but that's it. We needed to figure out a way to keep our knees more attached to our body. That welcomed in the knee brace. The idea of the knee brace is to support the knee through all of the impacts we might go through, all of the wrecks that we could potentially go through, the twisting that can happen when we plant our foot into the ground, but the bike is gonna keep going. We don't wanna tear our MCL, our ACL, our PCL, and we want the knee to stay as intact as possible. In reality, it's trying to help us stay away from surgery. The problem that came up with majority of knee braces as they started hitting the market is that the support here, this metal support or sometimes a composite support on the side of the brace would keep us from being able to pinch the bike so we would lose that bike feel. And that's why a lot of racers continue to wear knee cups or knee pads is so they can get that great bike feel with their leg. And so we've seen throughout the past five to 10 years, a lot of iterations on how knee braces are created so that riders can still have great bike feel and pinch the machine with their legs. And that is one of the things that we're gonna talk about with the X-Frame Hybrid and why it exists the way that it does. With the X-Frame Hybrid, Liat solves for the bike feel and the pinching of the bike problem by actually creating asymmetrical hinges. So the hinge on the inside, this is the right leg, so this would be the inside hinge, is actually 40% smaller than the outside hinge. So again, that way they could keep a smaller landscape here, right? This is taking up less knee so that you can pinch the bike a little bit better. With the X-Frame Hybrids and my Sherco, which is a 2018, I actually haven't really ever had a bike feel or a being able to bike control pinching issue. I don't know if it's because of the fact the 18 and the way the shrouds are placed and the way that I fit on the bike, but I'm about 5'10". I've gone between 170 and 185 pounds throughout the two years that I've been wearing these. But honestly, that's never been a big problem for me. So in the long run, if you're someone that's concerned about bike feel and being able to pinch the bike and true bike control, I believe that the X-Frame hybrids are a great option. Now they've also done something else to help make the knee brace a little bit smaller so that you can have more bike control and more feel. The X-Frame Hybrid is called the Hybrid because Liat actually removed the patella cup from the brace. So all of the attachment points that you would need for the patella cup make the brace a little bit wider and they wanted to slim up the form factor of the brace. So where is the patella protection? Well, there's two parts to it. So you've got the sleeve which goes on underneath the brace. Yes, you do put the sleeve on first. So there's a little pocket that these slide into here in the sleeves. And then what you do is you put this sleeve on first and then you lace up the brace and put the brace on over that. It has created a very form-fitting knee brace that has worked great in all of the wrecks that you've seen me uh, bring to you guys here on the Seat Time channel. So if you think that this is a little bit um, interesting, it is, but it works very well. Now the braces are side specific. So this is the left and this is the right. It says it right there in the very top. So that right when you're putting it on, makes it super simple for you to figure out. So we put this guy on the left side, right? But then they also have numbered straps for you to know which is the easiest way for you to try to get this thing on first. So you go to one, two, then you come down to three, which is at the top, and then you've got four at the bottom. When it comes to snugging up these straps, I actually don't snug them up all the way. So I get the brace in a spot where I think it feels good, and then I start to snug it up a little bit more. Two things are gonna happen while you're riding, especially if you're out all day racing or riding like more single track or enduro. One, our body's gonna swell up, so we are gonna expand. But part of that that also sucks is that that sweat that we're excruding well, the sweat that we're sweating is going to get into these straps and these straps are gonna stretch just a little bit. I have not had too many issues where I've had to readjust the braces during long enduros. 
but in the long run that is something to pay attention to something you'll have to figure out how the brace works for you as you're strapping it down and tighten it to your body you might need to adjust it on the trail if you're out there for you know 101.1 mile enduro once you have the brace on, you're gonna have the top of the sleeve close to your crotch and the lower part of your sleeve close to your ankle. What I like is that you actually fold the top and the bottom of the sleeve up and over the brace. And what that does is it actually helps keep the Velcro from snagging onto your pants. I also feel like what we were talking about, the body expanding, the strap stretching a little bit, by folding that sleeve over the brace, it helps keep it in its place a little bit longer. Great form and function for not getting the Velcro stuck in the pants, but also just a tad bit more security over the day of a lot of riding. When it comes to sizing the braces, I was actually right in the middle of a medium and a large when I first started doing the measurements. And you can see, that's why I've got an extra pair of braces hanging out here in the background. Those are mediums. And after I went to Colorado, so I've been wearing the braces for about three months, I had been working out a lot. I was in elevation, as the swelling really took on from the longer parts of the day, I did feel a lot of pinching in my quads right above the knee. So I went ahead and got a pair of larges and that was the right way to go. That's a little bit for you to know that if you're right in the middle, you might wanna really know if you're gonna go a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. But do you remember, you're going to swell up a little bit on longer days on the bike. Now another way that they allow you to have micro adjustments for the width of maybe your knee, not just your quad or your calf, depending on how muscular, or in my case, how non-muscular you might be. They've got these little adjustment pads. These work really well. They go here on the inside of the two supports on the inside. Now, what I've actually wound up doing is I have a little bit of a thicker on the inside and a little bit thinner on the outside. So that has helped really center up on my knee and what I feel keeps the brace nice and secure. Now again, you're gonna wanna find that comfort spot with these because you don't wanna just like barely be able to fit. Because again, with the swelling that could happen, it might make it very uncomfortable. Um, the only thing is as these kind of like get moved around and everything, they're not marked. So you can definitely tell like which is the biggest and which is the smallest. But once you start to really play around with the intricacy of it, you can get kind of confused. So a pair of calipers is actually useful in this. I would just say in the future, Liat, label these. Let us know exactly what size they are. It'll make it a lot easier for us as we're trying to figure all this out. One part of knee braces is to be able to keep your knee from hyperextending. And here in the pivot, Liat actually has about four different stops that you can install. So a five degree, a 10 degree, 15 degree, and a 20 degree. I tried to play around with these, but to be honest, going from the five to 10, that was too much for me. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't straighten my knee out as much as I wanted. So you'll again have to play with this, what's good for you, what potential knee issues you've had in the past, and if you believe you shouldn't go past a certain degree. But another cool feature, for the adjustability of the X-Frame hybrids. I've been wearing the Liat X-Frame hybrid for almost two years. This summer, around the Shady Burrow time in August, will be two years of riding with these knee braces, and they've worked great for me. They are about $500 for a pair, which is actually in the middle of knee braces. They're not gonna be the cheapest option out there for knee braces, but they're also not gonna be the most expensive, so I think they fit somewhere in the middle. $500 is also probably more than your deductible if you have to have surgery. If you have not worn knee braces before, I do believe that getting these for $500 is a great value to save your knees for longevity in life. But at the same time too, you may not be able to afford those and you need to start somewhere else and you're just gonna have to figure out what's gonna work for you. But personally, I do believe at $500, these are a great value and have a lot of safety features. If you have questions about the Liat X-Frame hybrid knee braces that I did not cover, please ask them in the comments below. If you have a pair of knee braces that work really well for you, that would also be a great comment to leave. Why they work, what pair did you get, how much did they cost so that others that find this video can have a little bit more of a rounded education when it comes to knee braces and what is out there on the market. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was a little bit educational and if it not, at least it kept you entertained as we chatted about knee braces here in the garage. Enjoy getting seat time. If we don't get a chance to see you on the trail, well, you know what? We'll get a chance to see you on the internet. Peace. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I want you to know that if you would wear a size medium, 
hit that in the comments and give me your best crashing story. And I will pick one of you that wears a medium and has a good crash story to get for free, ship to you that extra pair of medium Liat X-Frame hybrid knee braces. So thanks again for being here. Enjoy getting seat time.